in the front minutes. It's Christine and I'm still happy for you. I thank you for this bonus sponsorship from Form 1 up to Form 4. But I still want to continue with my education no matter what happened because I just on the was on the way after finishing my education I went to stay with my cousin but she sent me out. I stayed alone for one year and then there was a fire breakout which made me so annoyed and I lost all hope when and I, I went staying with my, my friend, then she locked me out. I went to a pub where I, walk, I got drunk. I'm sorry, it was my first time. I, I, we were with a friend and I, he dragged me. We ended up having sex with him. And I, after two days, after three days, I noted that I was pregnant. I'm really sorry because You are so, you are so, you put a lot of effort to educate me, but um, I still want to continue with my education because without my, without education there is nothing good that can come out of me. My mom is willing to take care of the baby if I get the chance to continue the, with my education and since I can, I didn't want to lose my baby. Yeah. And. If you do continue with your education, what do you want to become? I want to do a course in tourism administration and I want to combine it with baking and and front and decoration. So what will you do with, with those? They will boost my future and the future of my child. Yeah. So do you want to work more in a game park? Like, uh, where do you want to work? I can work in a hotel or a park. Yeah, because they are, that cause is related with tourism anyway. <laughs> that is involving tourism. Yeah. And I know Monica was here, and she so desperately wanted to see you. Oh. And I'm sure her family even desperately wanted her to see you. And it was sad that we couldn't get together. Yeah. Um, but now we're here, so is there anything that you want to maybe ask Monica or tell her? Maybe she can write to you or even... Do you have an email? No. Okay, so she can write to you. In fact, um, Christine, I was telling you that the Flaminis have been sending you a gift every year yeah. for Christmas. And you just advised me that you've never gotten anything. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, so, Monica, I still love you very, very much. I wanted to see you, but I couldn't because wherever I am, I'm a house guard and I can't move out without permission. I can't go for a long time since there are some children who I'm working for. Yeah, but I still love you very, very much. And I hope one day we will meet. Yeah. And do you have any questions for her? Yeah. And if, how. How are you doing, Monica? And what about Mom? I do miss you all. How about David? Has he finished his school, his education? How is he doing? Yeah. Well, it's also my prayer that maybe Monica will be able to return. And I know that David, it's like when I was traveling with Monica, it was so clear that David would love it here, and I'm just hoping that the opportunity would arise. Yeah. If if it works, if his parents think it would work, that David could also come with the parents, and they could all, of course, meet you. And I know they love you so much, too, Christine. Yeah, I do love them so much, also. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye.